Good morning, Oakfield Elementary. Sorry, I was just dropping everything and reading before our morning announcements today. Please stand for the pledge. Our pledges for today are Chloe Wino from second grade and her brother Jackson Magnuson from 4K. Take it away, kids. Lucius Sam, one nation, under God, invisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you for the pledgers. I really like how they stepped outside and used their flight that was hanging out there. Very creative. So today, today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. Hello to April. You can see in our morning announcements, I started it with tulips because when I think of April, I think of how our plants are going to start to grow. And one of the first flowers that we see are tulips, which I'm super excited. Hopefully mine grow this year. Today is also what we call April Fool's Day. Um, but we've had a lot of jokes going on us lately with school being canceled and doing school from home. Um, although the coronavirus definitely is no joke and we are taking it very seriously, um, today may not be the best day to play jokes on your family. Now that you're all trapped in the house together, our humor may not be there like it typically would. So it's up to you and fa your family what you decide to do. But that's what April 1st is known for is April Fool's Day. At Oakfield Elementary, it's known for Drop Everything and Read Day today, Dear Day today. That is our virtual spirit day. So I challenge you to find some time as a family to drop everything and either read books together or read books separately or do a little bit of both. I have a couple of my favorite books here. Uh, the one I was reading this morning is Poems About My Mom, which my daughter made, which was really fun. And I've also, I do a lot of nonfiction reading because of my job. So I'm reading the Ridiculously Amazing Schools because I can't wait to try some of these new strategies uh, this year and next year. Um, you can see my pile of books behind me, a lot of the books I like to read. This is my son's favorite because his name is Dawson and it's called Awesome Dawson. And although he's 12 now, he still likes to read that. Um, I even like to pull out my journals and read things I've written in the past. So that's a great idea too, is checking out things that you've written, stories, journals, letters, and rereading them. It's amazing how we change over the years. Um, I'm a big fan of Karen Kingsbury, and she's got a series of books. So this is my fun reading. This is my fiction reading, and she's a great author. So I love picking up those books. And let's see. Of course, you may remember Lily the Lash. We have all of her books here that we like to read. And then all my school books. Kids deserve it. This is another one I'm reading, Lead by, with Faith. Maker Space for Schools, Do Better Work, got to throw in a little bit of parenting because I'm a parent, and then um, some fun girl reading called Girls Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis, who's a social media person that I follow as well. So I just want you to know I do a ton of reading. Um, I try. I love to buy books. And then I uh, have to carve out time to do some reading. And I know our book fairs are really popular at our school. So I challenge you to make sure that you are reading those books that you've purchased. Now is a great time to start your own classroom library and digging out those books. All right, let's take a look at other announcements today. We have no birthdays to celebrate today. Guest uh, subs, I hope you're off to a good start today. Uh, just to remind your kids, be on your schedule, follow your schedule, get up and dress for school. Even though you're not leaving your house, it sure makes you feel better. And that's one of the reasons I love doing announcements because it makes me get up and get ready for the day. All right, our shout outs today are going to kindergarten. The first one is from Mrs. Karras. One of her students, Nora, colored 22 pictures for the people at the nursing home where her mom works because the people cannot have visitors right now. And Nora said that is making them sad. So she cheered them up with some pictures. Nice job, Nora, very creative. 
And another one comes from kindergarten, Mrs. Colleen's class. Bethany created a harp for her musical instrument. So she's doing some of those purposeful play ideas. It reminded her family about the harp from the fairy tale Jack and the Beanstalk. So great job being creative, uh, Bethany, and keep up the good work. All right, our special guest today, go along with our dance theme yesterday. That sure was fun. I received a lot of super cool videos that I'm hoping to get out to you in the next week. So thank you to all the families that uploaded them. It has been so refreshing to see the kids having fun at home and just letting it loose and doing a little dance party. You can keep going all week and submitting your photos. Um, so the first one, our special guest is Mrs. Raby. Uh, she is our school psychologist and our special ed director. She has two jobs in our district, and she's also a dancer. So check out her video. Hi, Oakfield students and families. I'm Mrs. Raby. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the school psychologist and the director of special ed. And Mrs. Doyle asked me to do a video for our dance party day because she knows I love to dance. She also knows that my dance recital is postponed, just like so many other things are right now, so we can all stay safer at home. But I'm still practicing my dances at home, just like you should be practicing your reading, writing, and math so that we're all at our best when we come back and we can learn together again. So here's a little bit of my dance party. Thank you, Mrs. Raby, for showing us your dance moves. I'm sorry that your dance recital got canceled, but I'm really happy to, that you had a chance to perform for us. That is awesome. Our next special guest is our FIAD teacher, Mrs. Albert. Check out her creative video. Well, Mrs. Albert, you are definitely getting better with your technology usage, and what an amazing dancer you are as well. You got the moves, that's for sure. Um, so lots of fun ways to record ourselves doing dance moves, and maybe you had an app that you learned about, like Mrs. Albert, or you had a dance recital that was canceled, like Mrs. Raby. Or you just um, put on some fun music and got on your Wii and enjoyed that type as well. So lots of different ideas. So thank you for that. Um, a couple of quick parent resources that I want to go over that also pertain to students. So make sure students, you listen up. I am looking into iReady usage this week and tracking to make sure that all students in kindergarten through fifth grade are on iReady, unless you don't have access to the internet. I know that teachers are also doing it, um, and I've asked staff to reach out to parents if we're noticing kids not on iReady as much as they should be. iReady offers reading and math online lessons that are adjusted to each student's ability level. So we definitely want to make sure that you are getting on iReady and using those tools. Uh, speaking of tools, I know our third through fifth grade students have Chromebooks at home. And again, just a reminder that you are following the guidelines that you signed about using the devices appropriately and going on websites that pertain to your learning. During the school day, you should be working on your activities that your teachers have sent you. Um, that wouldn't be a time to be watching movies or accessing other things on your Chromebook. We have a software called GoGuardian. I just learned more about it today, but I know the teachers know a lot about it already. And they're tracking your usage on your Chromebooks through this GoGuardian app. So again, parents, teachers might be uh, reaching out to you to let you know if there's some concerns about the time spent on academics versus the extracurricular things that kids might be doing on their Chromebooks. So just to keep you posted on that. Yesterday, I sent out an email about our yearbook deadline. Yearbooks can be ordered through Quick and Smart, and that deadline is April 27th. So check out that email. 
And then we are wrapping up our first round of virtual learning on Friday. So I'm hoping all of the students are getting a chance to complete their activities by Friday. More information will be coming out tomorrow about what the next round of virtual learning will look like and how we can get materials to you. So stay tuned on that. We are in the works of planning that right now. So uh, students, just make sure you're doing what you need. And parents, thank you again for all your support. You've been truly amazing from helping your kids with school to sending in videos and pictures with our virtual school week. We so appreciate you and all you are doing. Uh, that's all I have for morning announcements today. Remember to stay in that green zone, show expected behaviors, make great choices, and let's have a wonderful Wednesday, everyone. Now, drop everything and get back to reading.